Despite falling short in the semi-final against Manchester City, Chelsea draws inspiration from their opponents' resilience after their Champions League exit. Pochettino emphasizes the importance of swiftly moving on and maintaining a positive mindset. He reflects on Chelsea's inconsistent performances and highlights the need for maturity and consistency within the squad. While acknowledging the team's quality and potential, Pochettino stresses the importance of sustained performance throughout the season. Looking ahead, he remains optimistic and hopes his players will use their disappointment as motivation in the upcoming fixture against Arsenal. Despite falling short in the semi-final against Manchester City, Chelsea draws inspiration from their opponents' resilience after their Champions League exit. Pochettino emphasizes the importance of swiftly moving on and maintaining a positive mindset. He reflects on Chelsea's inconsistent performances and highlights the need for maturity and consistency within the squad. While acknowledging the team's quality and potential, Pochettino stresses the importance of sustained performance throughout the season. Looking ahead, he remains optimistic and hopes his players will use their disappointment as motivation in the upcoming fixture against Arsenal. Chelsea are reportedly looking to sell Trevo Chalabar and Armando Broja at the end of the season. Broja, currently on loan at Fulham, needs regular playing time for his development, while Chalabar should also seek more minutes elsewhere for his career growth. Chelsea needs to generate money for new signings and their sale would be profitable, as both players are homegrown. Chelsea's busy summer window will be interesting to follow, and the players deserve to play regularly for their talent. Lille striker Jonathan David has attracted interest from Chelsea as his contract with the French club enters its final year. Transfer news expert Fabrizio Romano downplayed recent speculation but acknowledged that David could be one to watch this summer due to his contract situation. Although there are rumours of Chelsea's interest, no concrete updates have been confirmed. With Chelsea needing to strengthen their attacking options after a disappointing season, David could be a decent option, but there may be other names higher on their priority list. Borussia Dortmund are interested in signing Chelsea defender Ian Marchand permanently, but his £35 million release clause may be too costly for the German club. Chelsea initially considered selling the 22-year-old for around £30 million, but his impressive performances in Germany have led them to hold out for his release clause. Dortmund will need to pay a club record fee if they want to secure his services this summer. Marchin is highly rated and likely to attract interest from other clubs as well. Chelsea already have options at left back, making a sale feasible. Chelsea lost the FA Cup semi-final to Manchester City, leaving them uncertain for their upcoming Premier League match against Arsenal. The potential absence of key players Cole Palmer, Malo Gusto, and Christopher Nkunku adds to their woes. Chelsea manager Mauricio Pochettino is concerned about the impact of their cup run on his players' fitness. Meanwhile, Chelsea's chances of securing a top-half finish and a European spot rely on strong performances and favourable results. Despite being underdogs, having Palmer, Gusto, and Nkunku would greatly benefit Chelsea against Arsenal. Palmer has been exceptional this season, competing with Man City's Erling Haaland for the Golden Boot. Without Palmer, Chelsea's prospects appear bleak. Chelsea were denied a penalty in their FA Cup semi-final against Manchester City, despite a clear handball by Jack Grealish. Dermot Gallagher, a former Premier League referee, suggested that the on-field referee may not have seen the incident, and VAR should have prompted him to review it. Mauricio Pochettino, Chelsea's manager, expressed his frustration and called for VAR to be used in such situations. Despite the controversial decision, Manchester City emerged as the victors, with Bernardo Silva scoring the winning goal.